Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? It's Latoya Okia. Welcome back to another video, baby. If you are new to my, to my channel, new to me, I am Latoya Okia. I'm a master life coach, a spiritual leader, and a business mentor. I train and certify life coaches, and we create transformational leaders for the kingdom of God. So if you know that you know that you know, <laughs> I can hear some of y'all in the house, in the car, you repeating after me, you saying exactly what I'm saying, because to those of you that are family, that watch the videos faithfully, that are subscribed to the channel, y'all have heard me say all of this before. It's like when your favorite show come on and you sing along to the theme song, baby. <laughs> so if you know that you know that you know that God has called you to become a leader in this season, I want you to put it in the comments, baby. Say, I am a leader. This is my season to walk in my divine purpose. Go ahead and declare that over yourself today, baby. So I came to encourage some people today in the Lord. I came to encourage some people that's been getting weary and well-doing that you feeling like, ooh, child, I don't know if I'm gonna make it, Toy. I don't know if I'm gonna make it another day. And the enemy been hot on your tracks and you feeling like throwing in the towel, baby. I hear God say, mm, that I did not bring you this far to leave you. I did not bring you this far, baby, for you to throw in the towel, for you to give up. But I hear the Lord say, baby, that you are too close. Somebody put it in the comments, say, I'm close. I'm close. I'm close to my breakthrough. I'm close to my next level. I'm close to my transformation. I hear God say, baby, that you are closer now than you have ever been before. Now is your salvation even closer than when you first believed. God say, baby, don't give up. To those of you that have became weary in your well-doing, I hear God say, keep on working that thing. Mm. Somebody put this in the comments, baby. Say, slow and steady. Ooh, slow and steady. Come on now. Slow and steady wins the race, baby. You got to get you a steady pace in God, get you a steady pace in the kingdom, and you got to get up every day and work that thing, baby. You got to hold that thing slow and steady. To those of you that the enemy been getting hot on your tracks and you've been getting all kind of thoughts in your mind to give up, to throw in the towel, baby, I can hear the Lord saying today, that any man that puts his hand to the plow and looks back, you are not fit for the kingdom of heaven, baby. This is no time to turn around. This is no time to go back. Come on now, to your old ways. And I hear God saying, if you turn around now, if you go back now to your old ways and your old way of doing things, he said, there is nothing left back there for you. A lot of time the enemy, he try to romanticize stuff. Mm, y'all know I'm telling y'all the truth. He try to romanticize stuff. He try to get you to think about all the wonderful memories and all of the wonderful things that you used to have and the wonderful things that y'all used to do. He don't want you to think about how how you was going through hell when you was in that in that situation and how you was you was drinking tears for water and how you was broke, busted, and disgusted and how you was praying and crying to God every day to deliver you out of that mess. Mm -mm. He don't he blocked that part from your memory. He had you think about all the wonderfulness. <laughs> Y'all know I'm telling y'all the truth. Come on now. He had you think about all the wonderfulness and how you had this and how you had that. I'm reminded of the children of Israel when they was out in the desert after they had been praying and, and crying out to God for God to deliver them. And God sent Moses to Pharaoh to, to let God's people go. And Moses brought them, led them out of captivity. And when they got out in the wilderness, they started thinking about all the stuff they had when they was in Egypt. Oh, we had this and we had that. And then they started going after Moses, talking about, oh, you done brought us out here to die. And at least when we was in Egypt, we had this and we had that. See, that's the way the enemy do. He tried to romanticize your bondage. He tries to romanticize your captivity. He try to get you to remember the two or three things that was wonderful and try to get you to forget the 97 things that that you were crying out to God to deliver you from and how you focus on the two or three things that was wonderful. Oh, well, at least they gave me this and they gave me that. Oh, at least they did this for me. They did that for me. I hear the Lord say, baby, don't you fall for the enemy romanticizing stuff. You know how you begged and cried out to God for God to deliver you from them old levels, from them old seasons. He says, when I have delivered you out of Egypt, you cannot go back, baby. I hear God say that I have a land of promise for you. Mm. Somebody put this in the comments today, baby. Say the promised land is waiting on me. Ooh, 
The promised land is waiting on you, baby. I hear God say that I got a land for you that is flowing with milk and honey. I got a land for you, baby, where you're going to eat the good of the land. You're going to eat the fat grapes in the kingdom. Come on now. He said, I got a land for you, baby, where you're going to smile. You're going to be full of joy. You're going to be full of peace, full of the abundance of God. But he said, you got to be willing to tell the enemy no. I would not go by. Come on now. Somebody ought to declare that from their lips today, baby. Speak it in the face of the devil. Tell the devil, by devil with your ugly self. I will not go back to bondage. I will not go back to them addictions. I will not go back to them bad habits. I will not go back to that old life. The Lord has delivered you from Egypt, baby, and you cannot go back. You on your way to the promised land, baby. And I hear God saying today that the promised land is in our view. Mm. It is in our view, baby. It is just up that hill. Mm. It is just the head. Come on now. I can see the road signs in the spirit. Y'all better receive this thing today. You got to open up your eyes in the spirit, baby. And when you open up your eyes in the spirit, you're going to see the road sign that says promised land just ahead. Promised land just ahead, baby. If you give up now, you're going to miss the best part of the movie. If you throw in the towel, if you go back to Egypt, you're going to miss the best part of the movie. I hear God say, baby, that I'm about to have them on the edge of their seat. <laughs> he said, it's, it's going to be a show to remember, baby. It's going to be a show you ain't never going to forget. God say, I'm going to elevate you in the midst of your enemies. Mm, I'm going to make your enemies your footstool. Come on now. He said, keep on serving me, baby. I know you done got weary in well-doing. I know it looked like God ain't going to come through for you. I know it seemed like everybody else getting their results and you ain't getting nothing. God done forgot about you. But I hear God say, hold that thing slow and steady. Somebody say it again, baby. Say slow and steady. Ooh, slow and steady. We in the race. Mm. Sometimes God have to throw you in the slow cooker. Who am I talking to today, baby? See, we want that thing deep fried. We want that thing in the microwave. We want it three, two, one, pop, pop is ready. But God say, sometimes I got to throw that thing in the slow cooker, baby. I got to cook you slow and steady. Mm. Slow and steady. We in the race, baby. Don't you get in no hurry. Come on now. I'm going to tell y'all like God told me, baby. He said, don't you get in no hurry, woman. Don't you go to listening to the world and listen to these folk and dance into their tune. He said, let the world do what they do. But he said, know who you are in the kingdom. Come on now. He said, I have separated you from the world, baby. I have sanctified you. I have ordained you for my use. You are in this world, but you are not of this world. Ooh, let the world do what they do, but understand that your kingdom is not of this world. You do things different when you're walking with God. Come on now. You don't, you don't try to go out there and make something happen on your own strength, but you learn how to wait on God. You learn how to trust God. You learn how to move when God tell you to move. Come on now. Because when God say move, baby, I heard him say, I wish a devil would. <laughs> I wish a devil would run up, baby, when your heavenly father that gave you the green light. Come on now. Somebody put it in the comments today, baby. Say, God has given me the green light. And when God give you the green light, baby, can't now devil run up. What we said, they better, you better put your spiritual seatbelt on. Because God say, clink, clink, baby, you better lock in for this. Because when the heavenly father push that button, when he give you the green light to go forward in your season, baby, he said, it's time to take off. Glory be to God. Don't you get in no hurry, because if you get in a hurry, you're going to mess that thing up. You're going to mess up what God is creating on the inside of you. I just heard him say greatness takes time. Mm. You can't put greatness in the microwave. You can't put greatness in the air fryer. You can't put greatness in the deep fryer. Come on now. He said if you're cooking greatness, you got to throw it in the slow cooker, baby. Somebody put it in the comments, baby. Say God got me in the slow cooker. I'm slow cooking. <laughs> I ain't getting in no hurry and I ain't giving up. I hear God say, don't you throw away your faith, baby, because your faith is your confidence in your daddy. Are you confident in him today? Mm. Are you confident that he going to bring you out of this situation that you in? Are you confident that he shall deliver you out of the hands of your enemies? Don't fall for the enemy and his tricks and how he romanticizes old seasons of your life, trying to make it seem like it was better than what it was. If it was so good, you would have never left it. Come on now. If it was so good, you would that thing would still be in your life today. If it was so good, you would have got results from it. You left that situation. You left out of that condition because it wasn't producing for you because you wanted God to deliver you. I hear God say, remember the facts. Don't let the enemy get you all in your feelings and go to romanticize and stuff. He said, remember the facts. When the Lord has delivered you out of Egypt, out of bondage, 
Do not go back. You have put your hand to the plow. You have, you have committed your life to Jesus Christ. I hear him say, do not go back, baby, because there is nothing left back there for you but destruction. Do not go back to your old habits. Do not go back to your old ways. Tell the devil bye with his ugly self, and you keep on moving forward in the kingdom. Glory be to God. Do not be weary in your well-doing, baby, because the Lord say that I shall renew your strength. In the fullness of time, God says you shall mount up with wings, mm, just as the eagle, baby. You shall run and not be weary. You shall walk and not faint. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Be of good courage, baby, and the Lord shall strengthen your heart. Receive this encouragement today. Somebody needed this today. Somebody needed this, this encouragement. Somebody needed this uplifting in their spirit today. Receive what the Lord has for you today, baby. Get your encouragement. Get your breakthrough today. And this word is going to give you the strength to run on and see what the end going to be. I love y'all so much. I am Latoya O'Keel. I'm your coach, baby. I'm praying for you. You're going to make it. You're going to be all right. You are too close to your transformation. You are too close to your breakthrough. The promised land is in our view. Do not give up now. Receive this encouragement today to run on and continue on in this race. Do not go back to your old ways, baby. Ain't nothing left back there for you. You got to keep moving forward in the kingdom. I love you so much. Join me on June the 7th, 2024 in Tallahassee, Florida for the Divine Ones in-person seminar. We're going to be live and in-person in Tallahassee, Florida. And I want you to meet me in the room. Go to my website, IamLatoyaOkeel.com and get your tickets now. Tickets are on sale and I want to see you. I want to meet you in person, live and in the room, baby, in Tallahassee, Florida for the Divine Ones Seminar. Go below, click the link and get your ticket now. I love y'all. I love you. I love you. Also, remember my group coaching community is open. We have spots available in there. I meet with my students every single Tuesday. We have live classes, live mentoring on Zoom every single Tuesday. So if you're looking for a family of other chosen ones, if you're looking for a coach, somebody that's going to hold you accountable, that's going to give you the knowledge, give you the tools and the strategies that you need to be successful in your life, your business, and your spiritual walk. The keys, and the keys to success that I give you can be applied in life, in business, and your spiritual walk, baby. So if that's what you're looking for, I want you to click the link below and join me. It's only $47 a month. You can cancel at any time, but when you get in, you ain't going to want to leave. <laughs> come on in, come on in. I would love to be your coach, and I want to help you and guide you towards your transformation, okay? I love y'all so much. Don't give up now. You're too close to your transformation. You are too close to your promised land. Y'all be blessed.